businesses, corporations, and government agencies that rely on automobiles for their core operations are following suit as automakers gradually transition to an electrified future. Even Domino's Pizza has chosen to use electric vehicles for its future operations, purchasing 800 Chevy Bolt delivery vehicles. In the meantime, an even larger investment is being made by the United States Postal Service. The United States Postal Service USPS, was looking for a new delivery truck for a long time in order to cut costs and work more efficiently. The vehicle, which was dubbed the next generation delivery vehicle, was intended to modernize the existing fleet, which is comprised of dated little boxes with poor fuel economy and even basic comforts like air conditioning missing. Oshkosh Defense eventually won the contract to supply its controversially designed delivery truck, but its appearance wasn't the only issue. Oshkosh Defense paid the US Postal Service $3 billion in NGDVs, despite a flurry of criticism. According to the Washington Post, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy initially approved a plan that would only see 10% of the USPS delivery fleet switch to electric power, which was insufficient for the EPA. Those who advocated for the USPS to acquire more electric vehicles, according to USPS representatives, were not interested in the organization's financial stability, and the postal service must be self-sufficient. In essence, they were attempting to assert that the Postal Service lacked the funds to acquire additional electric vehicles. President Biden pledged to replace every federally owned Postal Service delivery truck with an American-made electric vehicle during his first week in office. At that point, that Dow incorporated almost 400,000 vehicles. According to the Biden administration, a portion of the $400 billion made in All of America plan would be used to pay for the vehicle replacement. In an explanation, the Mail Center reported that it expects to deploy over 66,000 electric vehicles by 2028, giving it one of the largest electric vehicle armadas in the nation. In the explanation the U.S. Mail Center said it hopes to contribute $9.6 billion to buy the vehicles with $3 billion coming from reserves given by the Expansion Decrease Act. By 2028, the Post Office also intends to acquire 21,000 commercial off-the-shelf BEVs. The Mail Center said it will have an inclination for locally created BEVs while looking for off-the-rack BEVs which puts Chevrolet, Portage, and Tesla in the running. Although the number of battery electric vehicles in the United States Postal Service USPS, appears to be significantly behind President Biden's goal of nearly 400,000 BEVs, 66,000 seems like a significant number overall. In addition, the United States Postal Service isn't completely swearing off combustion vehicles. 40,000 brand new gasoline-powered vehicles will still be purchased by the Postal Service by 2028, according to Reuters.